Across the globe, the earth has been warming. We've also known that the past decade was one of the warmest on record. And the World Meteorological Organization had a press conference today and obviously are confirming that the global average temperature is now 1.1 degrees above pre-industrial pre levels. And bearing in mind that 2019 was the second warmest year on record for the Earth, it basically does cap one of the hottest decades on record as we go through 2019 and into 2020. We've had it the warmest January on record. And also the seas are also warming with sea levels rising at over 3 millimetres Per year. Now, across the Trinidad and Tobago, we've also been feeling the effects of the climate change, but weather wise, we're on a shorter time scale. And for tonight, we're looking at mostly clear conditions across Tobago. This will lead to partly sunny skies first thing on Wednesday morning. There's only a low chance of a shower, but you will notice that Saharan dust still with us, at least for the first part of our Wednesday, and will also feel quite breezy. For Trinidad tonight, uh, partly cloudy in some areas, with just a low chance of a shower. We will see the hazy sunshine of greeting you first thing through Wednesday morning across central and southern areas of Trinidad, but also being quite breezy, especially along those Atlantic shorelines. And that is also having an effect on the seas, and we'll talk about that later. In terms of the temperatures tonight, looking at a cool 22 degrees Celsius at Piarco, 23 degrees Celsius at Crown Point, and a warm 32 degrees Celsius likely tomorrow. Now on a Thursday, fair conditions are still expected for both Trinidad and Tobago. Now, the hazardous seas alert is in effect. It will continue until Wednesday, especially affecting those at fishing villages along the Gulf of Paria, as well as along the north coast of Trinidad and up towards uh, Tobago, Charlottesville and Castara in particular. And uh, the waves offshore are looking at 2.5 metres, but it could stretch to 3 metres out in the Atlantic. So that's why the hazardous seas alert is in effect, especially for those on the near shore areas with those long period northerly swells coming in at uh, 13 seconds, as well as the effect of the spring tides bringing higher than normal high tides at 5.15 a.m. and at 5.45 p.m. Now, across the Caribbean, they've seen some drenching rains across Hispaniola. Santo Domingo will continue to see some of those thundery downpours, but the showers should fade from Port-au-Prince as well as for Kingston. And Havana still remains slightly warm at 27 degrees Celsius here. We will be picking up some sunshine in the eastern Caribbean, but you have to go down towards the Windward Islands, where there will still be that Saharan dust around, also still feeling quite breezy around Barbados. And then down towards Georgetown, it's mostly cloudy and a high of 30 degrees Celsius as they go through Wednesday. But for us, we're looking at mostly sunny weather, breezy conditions as well, and also feeling quite warm. So that's weather, and that's it for me.